18 minutes after 9 o'clock happening today, General Motors begins repairing millions of recalled vehicles because of a faulty ignition switch. That's right, model years 2003 through 2007 of the Chevy Cobalt and HHR, the Pontiac G5 and Solstice, and the Saturn Ion and Sky. That's a lot of cars. They are the first to get the repairs. The faulty ignition switch is tied to at least... 13 deaths so far. Quite a story. Boost Longinette is here this morning to help us figure out what's going wrong with these ignition switches, and it may be our own fault. Yeah, really. on, on older cars, like here's, I brought an old steering column. That's here, really nice. Yeah, not beautiful. That's don't don't get too close, dirty. <laughs> so, so if you pull the ignition out, uh -huh. that's an old GM column, okay? But, but here's the deal. We put so much weight on our keys. Now, now GM is making this right. Let me jump back to GM. They're, they're stepping up to the plate. Okay. They're giving people rental cars. Call your local Chevy. Get okay. your appointment quick because everybody's panicking well, as they should. Well, because how long will it take to do that? I mean, if you run it into the shop, is that a 10-minute project or a day and a half? I'd say I'd leave it for a day. You don't want to rush really? them because you want it fixed, right? They're going to oh, really? give you a rental car, so go ahead and enjoy your oh, rental car. Oh, they will car. give you a rental Put car. Put mileage on their car. Okay. GM's really stepping up. I'm proud okay. of GM for this. After the bailout, the good news is they were bankrupt. They didn't really have to probably legally step up and fix this, but they are. So, but well, uh, what, there are people who are dead from this, so yeah. they needed to do something. Right. You know how you know there's always loopholes and everything. Sure. But Absolutely. they're stepping up, so don't hate General Motors for this because you know they are making it right. The deaths have already happened, which is horrible, but they are stepping so what, up. So what was the problem in the first place? Though? Well, they have a spring that's going bad. Okay. And, and typical, well, the accountants upstairs, I think, caused this. They put a four-cent spring instead of a nine-cent spring. The problem is younger people drive Cobalts typically in the Ions. A lot of parents yeah, buy these for right, teenage cars. Right. So you're coming, up to, cars. you're coming up to a stoplight. Where do the trucks make most of the potholes? At the stoplight. You're hitting the pothole. You've got a half a pound of stuff on your keys. You hit the pothole. It's shutting your Cobalt off. You have no power steering, no power brakes. You panic. Next thing you know, you're out in the middle of section getting T-boned. Wow. That, so that's what's happening is you're losing it, all your steering power and, there, and you're done. I'm assuming because they're saying it. There, some people are saying the steering wheel is locking. But unless the key's turned, I'd like to see, I don't know, have enough details on that. I've right. researched the heck out of it. No one's, GM still has to protect themselves. They're not letting too much information sure. out there. Sure, sure. Okay. So, so I've got some keys here. We went around and gathered out some keys. Actually, I'm the worst offender. All right. Well, <laughs> let's, let's start with it. Jess, were these yours? These so this will yours. give us an idea how much people are hanging off the end of their So gear. this is, okay. I mean, this doesn't feel like a lot. Well, you've got this. Got her mace. You need mace, though. Yeah. And her well, fitness card. It's kind of heavy. And so. you have that, <laughs> you have that in, your, in your pocket or in your hand, in your, in your purse or whatever, and it's hanging from your steering column. And it's, what is that, a quarter close, of a pound? Close to five ounces. I mean, so. Right, which may not sound like a lot, but when it's but jump, j jiggling up and it. down a lot. you got an older car, and you're hitting bumps all day. We've all been on 270 yeah, in the last yeah. few months. Uh, yeah. Mother Nature's been rough on us. Mm -hmm. You're wearing out your ignition. It's going to cost you up to $1,000 later on once your car gets 150,000 miles on it. Because, wow. you know, the average American keeps their cars 11 years now. Okay, now let's, let's do our, our big producers. What's that? Oh. There's half, half a, pound. a pound. Now, here's, here's the worst guy is me. You know, I got my studios for the radio show and everything. My dad's dog tags because I'm superstitious. And you're, you're and also a, a janitor. Eight. Three well, quarters almost of a pound. Half. Almost, yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's crazy. Now, here's what that. I do. Oh, yeah. Now, here's what I do, though. $1.98, you unplug this, you put it in your purse or your pocket, and you have no weight. So it went from And you just use that in the car. 1.34. So that's, that's, that's way a regular GM ignition. This is the old school one where you still had... Well, there's two there, but it's pretend it one's trunk. Not even Under an ounce. Not even wow. an ounce. The engineers at GM, Ford, Chrysler, Toyota, Chevrolet, Chevrolet et cetera, da, 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 they, they engineer that lock to hold that much. They don't oh. want you, if you read in the owner's manual, they don't want you adding your, I know you love our grandkids and our kids, but don't put the pictures on there. Right. Put your mace in your pocket. I know you always have your keys, but if you, you ladies have it made because you have purses, so put your stuff in a purse and only have your ignition. <laughs> I'm never going to find anything in there. I know. <laughs> so. I'm just curious. Let's see what happens here. It's about See? three ounces. Too much. So too much. Volkswagen did not design your car to have all that extra weight on it. Yeah. That's all they want. Just just that. That's actually heavy, but I guarantee the engineers at Volkswagen and Audi made that yeah, plastic they covered themselves. enough lightweight where it's not going to wear out your gear. Okay, right. so buck okay. 98 for buck the 98. easy release key ring. Good idea. And then Good make sure idea. you just get all that junk off your keys. And, yeah. and, and GM owners, please, you have a son or daughter, one of those Cobalts or Ions, let's get it in. Get it fixed. I would actually switch cars because, and take them out and practice. Go ahead and kill the ignition. Let them feel what a car feels like with no power brakes, no power steering, so they don't panic. Oh. The problem is most people don't teach their That's kids so how to deal after with it happens. You know, they have to Thank react, you. so teach them that. You know. Thank you, Boots. We, we appreciate go. it. Thank you so much. Here, do you want me to help you carry your? No, you get all dirty. <laughs> That's, That's an '86 Camaro column there. I knew it. I could have spotted that anywhere.